everybody, and welcome to episode one of my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play series. So I've been looking forward to starting this series for a month now, and I'm glad to finally be starting it. I was waiting for the 0 0.23 update to come out because one of the main features of this update is an improvement, an improvement to performance of the game, which my computer isn't the fastest, so... I thought it'd be good if the game was as fast as humanly possible before I started doing a series. And also they did some updates to career mode, which we will be playing in, so that's always good. And let me quickly get out of this loud, uh, loud music here. We will be Kebab Kerman. And I made a special logo just for this. I didn't really make it, I just took an existing picture that someone made for me and put it on the background. But let's get started. So, as far as my experience with this game, I've been playing for I think a couple months now, and yeah, um, I started out with the demo once I found out about the game, and from there... Look, it's uh, Werner von Kerman. And uh, from the demo, after a while, I got the main game. And between the two, I've probably put close to 100 hours into this game. But don't think I'm an expert, because I have never landed a Kerbal outside of the uh, moons. I have put rovers on Duna, Eve, and Lathe. But that as far as I as I have gone so far. But anyway, enough of that. We will hopefully be setting some new records for me in this series. But for now, we just got some science to do. What do we got so far? No science. So we're just going to launch. The other thing they said is the improved loading speeds, although it still seems pretty slow. Here we have Jebediah Kerman, everyone's favorite Kerbal, or... Oh, uh, Kerman? Man, that is one thing I can never keep track of what you're supposed to call the people. Oh, this is fancy. They said they uh, improved all the tooltips. Okay, plus 1.5 science. We will keep it. And then we tell him to go on EVA. So if you are new to Kerbal Space Program, there are a few ways you can get science. The first thing we're doing is just a small ship and getting scientific data about the launch pad. Okay, what does this mean? I don't know what that means. So we've taken an EVA report, a sample, and a crew report. So let's get back in, board, then we recover vessel to put the science to use. There we go, we have 12 science. Now where is the science facility? Research and development, yeah. So how much? Only 5 science for the next upgrade, so we will research that. Now how much do we need? Now we're going to need 20 science, we only have 7. But let's not waste any time. Let's try to try to get a little farther this time. So what new stuff do we have now? Not that I really looked at it before. Okay, now we have a mystery goo. So we'll just stick that on the side here and launch again. This is really exciting rocketry, I know. But you gotta start somewhere. Kind of jumped there, but anyway, we observe the mystery goo. Gives us three science. Hmm. Now you can't keep using the goo multiple times in a row. But anyway, that wasn't much science. Do we get any more from a crew report? No. They've really improved science. It's a lot, a lot more complicated. But anyway, there we go. Now we've got 10 science. So next, we need to actually rocket into the sky. 
So I think we will just do that. Um, we should probably have two of these so it remains balanced. Um, and we should probably not have them that low down where they'll hit the ground. Because we want them to stay intact. We need a parachute, which won't place apparently. Okay, parachute, go on there. Okay, now these. Um, there. Okay, that seems like a good ship. So now we're just going to do something a little insane. Okay, why is this like that? I should have set my staging, but this works. We turn SAS on by pressing T. SAS keeps you pointed, well, tries to keep you pointed whatever direction you are facing. And let's have our first launch in three, two, one. Oh. Okay. So now, observe Mystery Goo. Okay, we got seven science. Let's do a crew report. 3.5 science. Now, EVA. And he let go. That is a major problem in this series of, well, series of this game. Oh, man. Well, revert to launch. A lot of times they just don't hold on when they get out, even though they've got a little ladder there. But for whatever reason, about half the time, they just let go. So let's try this again. Observe the mystery goo. Okay. Um, crew report. This time I'll wait for the uh, engine to run out before I do an EVA. Because maybe at a lower speed he will have a higher chance of holding on. Of course, if he doesn't, then we've just wasted a lot of time. Now, I do notice I'm not getting enough FPS. I might have to lower my graphic settings for the next video. I tried to lower them enough in my test video. It was fine. Oh, I know what I can do. Let me real quick try to speed things up a bit. Okay. Um, that didn't do anything. But, yeah, my computer doesn't really like this game all that much. We're getting a little, uh, atmospheric effect from how fast we're going. We're going pretty fast. There we go. Put out a parachute. And now, um... I'll wait until we slow down to 100. Um, SAS on. Did I have it off the whole time? This is taking a while to slow down. Let's straighten our vehicle a bit. Oh, because we got above the first level of atmosphere, so there's less resistance. So it's just gravity and a tiny bit of atmosphere slowing us down. Come on. Okay. And he held on. And he's sliding upward. EVA report quick. 5.6 science. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Oh, no, he didn't hold on. Oh, you stupid. Can I uh, do anything about this? He was holding on, but I guess he let go. What's he doing? He won't, uh... Okay. Now, what control will make him go down? Not that one. Um, I'm not good at this. Hey, we're catching up. Oh, uh, yes. Grab 
No! What are you doing? Okay, get lower down. Now grab. Okay. We did it! And there's no sound. Why is there no sound? Uh, shouldn't there be wind noise? Hmm. Something is wrong here. We broke the sound. Oh well. This update did just come out, so there might be glitches. Anyway... Well, hopefully we'll survive. What about this? Anything... Seven Science. Okay. Although I thought we did that with the other one. Maybe you can do it multiple times? I don't know. Let's accelerate until we get a bit lower down. This acceleration is very dangerous if you don't play the game. It's uh, It exaggerates the physics effects. So you only want to do it when you're not really doing anything much. Because like, if your parachute extends, it could rip your entire ship in half, which that might happen anyway. Because we do have more weight than I would normally have when using a parachute. And we made it. The first time I ever tried this, it like jerked sideways and flung the bottom thing off. It was pretty amazing. Anyway, now that the parachute's open, we can accelerate again until we get close to the ground. I'll turn SAS back on. Okay, we're... We're getting close, so I'll slow down to 2x. There's a bit of a parachute graphics glitch when you get close to the ground. Oh, okay. A successful landing, and we should get some good science from that. And the sound is back. Okay, we got 33 science. That's enough to unlock something. But the question is... Which one do I want first? We got radial mount parachutes, landing struts, that could be useful. Liquid fuel engine. Here we've got nose cones, winglets, and radial decouplers. Those are very useful. And here we've got liquid fuel engine, separatron, and Rocomax solid fuel booster. Now what do we already have? We already have this. So... Hmm... I think we'll get this. Oh, 18 science. 15 science, hey! I thought they were all the same price. Okay, we got two. I didn't really need this one, but... If I have enough science, why not? This one would have been more useful though. We'll make do. Now we have to actually make a real rocket, right? Nah. Real rockets are overrated. In Kerbal Space Program, we fly two feet and do science right at the station or whatever. Um, what am I doing? I need an engine, just a little engine. And, uh, utility, landing struts. We'll do five of them for some reason. Just because it looks cool, I know. Yeah. Um. There. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, nah. We don't need landing. What we do need is this. There we go. Um, I think that's everything. We don't have any science things besides mystery goo. We don't need an antenna. Hopefully this can get off the ground. And let's hope the sound keeps working this time. Let's 
total silence. Okay. So, um, I'm going to put those in the same one. And we just go this way. And yeah. Boom. There's our cheese flag. Boom. Okay, here we are. Yep. Yeah, this this beginning won't be too exciting, but we want as much science as we can get, don't we? So get out, Jebediah. EVA report. Surface sample. See, now it's from KSC instead of the launch pad. There is a variety of biomes around planets and moons where you can... Uh, collect different scientific data. I'm, I don't think the sound was working there again. I hope that's not going to happen every time we play. Okay, so no modifications necessary. We got one more biome to explore before I try to make a real spaceship. Where is it? Okay. Let's throttle up by holding shift. Space bar to stage. And, uh, nope, wrong way. Okay. Let's get over, oh no. I forgot to turn SAS on. Okay, we're still heading up. Just, uh oh, we're heading down. Oh no. Didn't angle quite up enough. Okay, we're heading back up, and we're almost to our goal. I don't know when the ocean biome necessarily begins, so here we go. Cut the engine. You don't want to leave the engine on whenever you stage to separate. It causes problems. And I will probably forget to do that at some point in this series. Because it happens to me quite often, really. Okay, turn SAS off. And that aims us straight down, and then we turn it back on. And we can accelerate for a tiny bit. Because the distance it shows up there is your distance from sea level. So on the surface, you won't be landing at zero meters. And I think it also shows from, like, right at the top of your capsule, maybe. It's not a perfect system, and they really need to add a distance from ground for the bottom of your aircraft. But they don't have that. And, okay. Here we are. That was a bit of a weird noise. So, more science. After this, we will actually make a decent rocket. Um... So let's uh, rotate upwards a bit. And we've done the crew report, so let's EVA. Let go. Oh, he's standing, kind of. That's weird. Surface samples. Surface samples are always really good. Uh, science. One of the most important. Recover vessel. Yeah, there was no sound again. Okay, we got 38 science. Let's see what we can unlock. Any of these? 45, 45, 45. Okay. Basic rocketry got us general rocketry. So, let's see what we can do now that we have reasonable science. Solid fuel booster. Okay, we're actually still going to want this get up there. Now we can't build too big of a rocket yet because it will uh, crush the engines with its weight. So um, I need an engine. Which engine? Oh they've really changed these. 
Okay, max thrust. This one has more thrust. It's pro probably less efficient. But who cares about that, right? Now, what is it going to take us to get to space? Because that is our goal. We want to do some space science in Kerbal Space Program. So here we go. What is going on here? There. So that way it should rest all of its weight on these four. <laughs> yeah, we got boosters larger than the aircraft itself. Hmm. Those are kind of not correct. Hopefully that clipping doesn't blow our spacecraft apart. Okay, we want this. And we'll do this. And let's actually name this. This is Space Attempt 1. Because it's an attempt because I am pretty certain we're not going to make it to space. Because you almost never make it to space on your first try unless you're a master. We're going to throttle up even though I'm not using that engine right away. And three, two, one, go. Okay, oh, SAS. Don't forget SAS. These are pretty loud. I hope you can hear me talking over them. Maybe I just won't talk very much. The volume in this game seems kind of hard to figure out. But I don't want to mess with it because this game uh, doesn't have very good resolution support and I record in 720p, but this monitor doesn't have 720p less so loud. This monitor doesn't have 720p as an option, so I'm doing windowed mode, but if I edit any options in the settings, it resets me to one of the one of the resolutions the screen does support. And I have to go into the uh, config file and manually reset it to 720p. So that's why I'm not fixing my volume. And also because fixing the volume is probably pretty annoying. Because it'd take, you know, five minutes probably. Anyway, we're almost out. Well, we got higher than I expected, and we are going pretty fast. It's possible we will make it to space. Okay, that was weird. Okay, we're going to make it to space. We are definitely making it to space. Let's do a gravity turn, as it is called, where you turn slightly while still flying up. This is great. Okay, okay, cut, cut engines. Let's head, whoa. Okay, bit of a little bit of lag and stuff, but we're fine. Now, if the sound's not completely broken, we will get space music as soon as we hit around 70,000 meters. We can accelerate there. Because we're not applying any thrust and not having much aerodynamics because we're essentially almost out of the atmosphere now. Now see there's like mountain biome, there's high high land volume volume what? Biome. Oh I'm still thinking about sound. Oh there we go. I like the music in this game. Apparently it is all uh royalty free music too so if you know where to download it you can use it in your own videos and also means that we shouldn't have any issues with the content ID system because you can't claim it it's royalty free well, I mean the person who made it might be able to claim it but why would they they made it royalty free Anyway, um, which... I never know which way to go to turn this thing up or down. But anyway, 
there. Of course, by the time we get there, the uh, the planet will have rotated. But anyway, we really came here just to do space science, space near Kerbin, and we want to do. Can't see very well, but we want to do a crew report, five science, and then an EVA and we do an EVA report. Eight science. And then we board. Can't take surface samples in space. Okay, now we will accelerate. Yeah, see it's rotating and we're gonna miss. So, while I'm still in space, I'm going to add a bit more velocity move us beyond there because it's easier to do that in space than once we hit the atmosphere that's for sure okay we might want to um, stop accelerating we might want to add a little bit more now that we're actually getting close I won't go much beyond the coast, even though once we hit the atmosphere, we'll slow down. And we might miss. How much fuel we got? Yeah, we're almost out of fuel, too. So maybe I'll do a bit more. There. Okay. And the music stopped, so we are under 70,000. We're going to start slowing down. Oh, man. The FPS is definitely lower than I thought it would be. In my test video, it stayed at 30 the whole time. Okay. Now, I don't know exactly when we will start getting the atmospheric effects. Probably 40,000-ish? If we're going fast enough. What is... Okay, we're still coming in good. I've never landed in this area before. We're not yet over land though. We chose like the smallest little area to try to land on. With this dinky little ship. Okay. Let's uh, apply a little more speed. There we go. 30,000 was when we start hitted, hitting the atmosphere good. And now we're really going to slow down. Let's turn SAS off and see what happens. We're spinning upside down. It's very shiny. I like this effect. Nope, we're spinning. Okay. And this would be a bad time to do that accelerated physics thing. Okay, we've slowed down a lot, and we are we are officially over land, so we are going to try to rotate around, and that's enough. Detach, and there we go. With any luck, we will keep our mystery goo intact and land in a new biome to check the other one. I'm really going to have to mess with my graphics settings, aren't I? This FPS is terrible. I haven't yet decided how long I want the videos in the series to be. Kerbal Space Program really lends itself towards long videos, in my opinion. Okay, we're almost at the ground, so let's turn off time warp. Okay, so far so good. Now let's turn it back on until we can see our shadow. It seems dark over here. It might be getting nighttime soon. Which might mean our shadow will be hard to see. Yeah, I don't see a shadow anywhere, but we're starting to get the glitch. So we must be close. We'll turn it down now. 
Aha, there's our shadow. Okay. Please don't blow up anything. Woo, that was close. Not really. So what biome are we in now? Grasslands. Okay, three science. Can we take another crew report, or is it going to erase? Yeah. So we can't do any of that. We probably can't do an EVA report either, but I'll try real quick. Oh, I can. Okay. And we'll take the surface sample. Looks like dirt. Nine science. This was all worth it, wasn't it? That nine science for looking at dirt. So you can take multiple EVA reports. That's good to know. And let's see. Oh, man. We have a lot of science. Going to space was a very good idea, wasn't it? So what do we get next? We should have some new science stuff, right? A new communication. Science Junior. And batteries are very important. Hmm. This is also an important one. Because struts are for reinforcing things. And stability enhancers for launching. Easier to just show you those things. But I think we will do this one. Right? Yeah, because batteries so that we don't run out of power so easily, and Science Junior so we can do more science. There we go. I think I will do a, a tiny bit more of science and then end this episode. Okay, so first of all, we're not going to space. Not this time. Um, science. There we go. There's Science Junior, which is very fragile. So, what I'm going to do. Oh, well, that was dumb, wasn't it? Okay, what I'm going to do is rotate this. That way, this thing will stay on the actual craft and it acts as a little barrier. But also, um, hmm. Do we have... No, we don't. Well, we're going to include two batteries with this. And I think that's all. Once we get out, we're not going to be able to get back in. And as even double security, we do that. So that's so if we like land in the ocean, it might have a chance of surviving. Probably won't. But anyway, launch. First thing we're going to do is just right here. Come on. Takes a little bit to load. Here we go. 7.5 science. Recover vessel. There we go. Hopefully we'll be able to unlock another thing before the end of this episode. That is my hope. So, one glitch is gears always start out on whether or not they are out. So you have to press G to turn them off or you can just click that. And then you can press it again to extend. So there they are. Now, let's lift off, just tilt slightly, and then cut engine, and there, we, ooh. SAS off, SAS on. Ah, oh, we don't need it. That was a nice boom. One problem with leaving SAS on right when you land is if you land at an angle, ooh. We almost... But right when you land, the uh, if you land at an angle, it might try to tip you over. And that's no good. Anyway, 7.5 more science. 
The, the next landing is going to be the tough one. Landing in the ocean. In previous attempts, I have lost my uh, science junior. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh man, this is loading slow this time. Okay. We're going to go back to the vehicle assembly. Now, I've never actually bothered to do this before, but what we can try is to put a ton of parachutes on it. And we'll also remove the legs because we don't need them for the ocean. And I think that's it. They need some music that is for being in the atmosphere. Because it's just so quiet. Anyway, SAS on. Throttle up a bit. And lift off. Now, how to turn that direction. Okay, this way. Now this one should have more power. Yeah, we're having no trouble staying, staying airborne here. Even at an extreme angle. Anyway, now I think there's, oh man, why did that happen? Oh well. Ha, <laughs> that's awesome. SAS off. Although maybe landing on the top would be good. But that's what we got this thing for. But anyway, um, I think there's a shore biome, but I don't know if you can get it right here or not. I had trouble finding different biomes in my last career playthrough. Okay, we're only moving 3.4 meters per second. With one parachute, I think we would be moving like 8 or 10. So, hopefully this will not be a repeat. We've got SAS off, so we won't have any problems with it trying to spin us around in the ocean. So, oh, this is going to take a while at this speed. Yep. So it's a pretty slow first episode, but I think we've done great things. Um, well, I thought I was getting close, but I'm not. Not yet. And I really look forward to the future of this game as they continue updating it. Okay, we're close enough. This game has a ton of potential. They're going to be adding more planets, maybe asteroid fields, um, hopefully maybe someday comets. Maybe as DLC they'll even add other solar systems, I don't know. But that that's months or years away. I don't know what their short-term plans are besides they're still really working on career mode okay almost it's gonna be annoying if it breaks this thing is so fragile oh we did it what is that noise that is weird anyway how much 7.5 ooh 10 awesome okay now I don't think there's anything else we need to do here right we can try a crew report if I can find the door. Yeah, zero science. Okay, recover vessel. Will that get us to 45? I don't know. Oh, 44. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, anyway, this has been episode one of my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play series. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to hopefully eventually land Kerbals on every single planet and moon. That is my goal for this series. Now it is possible that an update in the future will force us to restart our save. Either by choice because they've changed so much or because the save will be incompatible. Where are these numbers? Hmm. But we're not going to worry about that quite yet. Hopefully, we should have plenty of time to at least make it to a lot of planets before that is even remotely going to happen. 
So this series will be plan is Wednesday and Sunday. So you can look forward to the next episode in a few days. I'm Kebab799. Comment if you have any comments. Like if you liked the video. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Because I will be playing a whole lot more. So subscribe. Yeah. See you next time.